Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, I mean, I know they finished a couple plays ahead of us in seven on seven, but, you know, we're down numbers. I thought we, you know, got in and out of the huddle well. I thought we gained yards on first down to start the period, you know, the first early part of the period. You know, certainly got tired and, and some things showed up. Um, you know, some details, some focus, uh, certainly conditioning. Um, but that's why you come down here and practice. So I felt like there were some good things. We'll take a look on it, you know, when we get back. A lot of you guys, they, they've mentioned this before, and even today, you know, the tempo, the pace, the intensity. How much does that help the defense? Well, I mean, I think we try to practice, you know, at a, at a great pace um, against ourselves. But, you know, that doesn't get replicated. I think it does get kicked up a notch. I thought guys took care of each other for the most part. Thought there were some competitive reps, and you know, hopefully the the pressure that they can put us on, you know, on our defense is, is only going to help us. I mean, again, we started the first period. I had um, ten pluses and, and, and two minuses as I was charting plays, just standing back there. You know, as far as getting some free access um, on the run game or. or blocking them in, in the play pass and, and completing passes. So you know, I felt like we, we started out really well. I don't know how well we finished, but I know that we, you know, early on in that first and 10 period, I thought that was um, some, some pretty good efforts on our part to get them covered up and, you know, and get the backs into the second level. Well, I mean, normally in these practices, the, you know, the, the head coach stays with the offense and Bruce was with, you know, their offense and I stayed with our offense and, you know, kind of operated that way. And then with special teams, I you know, would go over there and see what was going on. And one-on-ones, I kind of stayed with our offense and, you know, watched, you know, some of that stuff. Did Chester and Marcus translate what they've been doing? Yeah, I mean, I thought they showed up and I thought they competed. Um, you know, those guys have been out here every day. They're taking a lot of reps and, you know, the production continues to show up. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at it and see how it goes. I'm sure there's a lot of things that they need to correct. But, you know, I noticed both those guys today as well. What the secondary in particular get out of a day like this where they're going against, you know, pro bowl and things like the high calorie? Yeah, I mean, you got, you got a quarterback that's, you know, you know going to be in the Hall of Fame. you got guys that are all pros, receivers, you know, speed and size and quickness. You know, so they throw a lot at you, you know, not to mention the tight ends that they have. So. Any chance that we get a good receiving back, you know, a very good receiving running back. So, I'm sure, it was a huge challenge over there, and uh, look forward to, to seeing how we stood up. Is it, it big big in its, is it a big difference in itself as facing someone who's not a Titan when, you know, probably Taylor may know Chester Rogers tends to be a lot better than he does. Than the other you know, that's what all part of this practice is being able to adjust and adapt as you go through and kind of see what happens early in the day. Um, and, and then if you get that same matchup or same play later on in the day to be able to take advantage of it, um, you know, we'll watch some tape and then hopefully it comes back and, and some of those mistakes get corrected tomorrow. How what? I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I mean, that was actually the first half, you know, so they wanted to, you know, and I thought that was a good opportunity for us to tell our guys, like, hey, we, we want to end with points or we want to end with the ball in our hand. They're getting the ball at the second half. So, you know, net, let's not go three and out in, in 25 seconds and have to punt it back. So felt like that was a good opportunity for us to, to recognize that. We took the sack, which we can coach of, second and two. Like, we, we got to find a way to get rid of that football and not take a sack right there. And didn't take the time out, you know, third and 12. I didn't want to stop the clock with a minute and 10 seconds and, and not get it and punt it back to them. So, we can learn from that and say, hey, second and two, end of the half, they pressure us, we got to throw it away. Uh, but like you mentioned, for us, you know, that you know, defensive scores in, in two minutes at the end of the half, like we could two for one of them and, and a lot of good things like that. Caleb, maybe he wasn't finding the ball, but it seemed like he was in phase with some pretty good guys. Is that kind of the next? Yeah, I'll have to watch Paul. I was, you know, I mean, again, I wasn't over there. I'll have to take your, um, you know, your word for it. Um, coaching them up and just being able to try to find a ball when it's in the air or just being able to play through the pocket. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see how it was and how it looked and, and continue to coach them. But if he's staying in phase with guys like that, is that a good, I 
Yeah, I mean, again, that's that's something that we, we hope that he could do with his length and his speed and, and as he continues to build and, and add reps to, to his conditioning and to his fitness level. I don't think that would ever change, Gentry, until we get 85 guys out here. I'd like to see all 85 guys out here.